This is Stacy with Misguided Road Trips, and tonight me and Cliff are at one of America's most haunted hotels. It is called the Basin Park Hotel, located in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Now, to give you a little bit of information about this hotel, it was one of the original speakeasies, which means that, let me back up a little bit on my story. Eureka Springs is known for a spring here that has water that has healing properties in it. And back in the early 1900s, late 1800s, it was believed that the water from this spring would heal and cure all kinds of diseases, illnesses, you name it, it would help the body. So a lot of people would come here in order to get them this water. And, um, as people came in, the town started to grow. Well, this hotel, the Basin Park Hotel, was just a house built on the street in Eureka Springs. But when the man and woman that lived in the house started realizing, and I believe their names were Chisholm, C-H-I-S-U-M, when they started realizing the amount of traffic that was coming through here to get this water, they decided to build a hotel on top of their house on the side of the mountain. They built the hotel, called it the Basin Park Hotel. As thing, time went by, the prohibition started, people would come in and they would ask them for alcohol very quietly, which is why the term speak easy came along. And they would bootleg alcohol from a cave at the bottom of this hotel and bring it to the men and the women who would come up here. They also offered illegal gambling, prostitution. This was one of the wild, crazy partying places back in the day. And um, the man and woman made a killing off of it. Now, the reason they say it is haunted is because... First of all, it is said to be haunted by the woman who built the hotel. That once she saw how things started going and how many problems they had, she kind of felt bad for what they had turned the place into. There's also a little girl that they say haunts the staircase that you, you can hear her giggle and they say you see her, she has blonde braids or blonde pigtails and she's in a little yellow dress. There was also a bank robbery that took place here. And the gentlemen that were robbing the bank, they had an elaborate plan set up. And they were going to rob the bank next door. And they had set it up so that at a certain time, and I believe it was around 11 o'clock every day, all the police in the town would end up going to their homes for lunch, which was a little bit down the road, so it would take them longer to get to the bank if there was a bank robbery. And the day that these bank robbers decided to pull off this heist, they did not think about that the time had changed, and they had forgot to set their um, pocket watches to the right time. So they went in to rob the bank, and they did it at the wrong time. They actually did it while all the cops were still on duty. It became a big shootout in the street. And one of the gentlemen ran inside the hotel and died inside the hotel. I'm going to show you a picture of him. But um, they say he haunts the hotel, too. So, there's also a cowboy that I don't know the story on that they say haunts the hotel. So, we're going to take a look around. We're going to do a little bit of investigation and see. But first thing I'm going to do is show you all this room that we have tonight. Now, Cliff went to go park the car. So, I 
we came up here, we dropped off our bags and walked in. I got my camera out. This is a picture on the wall. Check out this, guys. This is awesome. The cliff had to get part of the car, so I thought I'll just go ahead and start showing them the room. And you got the three windows that overlooks the town. You can see it through the blinds out there, and it's dark and it's rainy and dreary tonight, so you can't really see a lot. But there's a TV in the little refrigerator. Big old bed. Here's the sink. These Tiffany lamps are pretty. I'm assuming this used to be an old closet. This was the door to part of the closet. But now this door opens up into the bathroom where your regular bathtub and the toilet is, but where the back side of that closet door is, it's just wall now, so it goes to the ceiling, so it's like some of it's been closed in. Now, we do have what is considered to be one of the more haunted rooms. This room, they say that the woman who built the hotel stands out here at the door, not so much in the room, but she stands outside the door and she tries to get in, but she never can get in. And even people who have stayed here have seen her and they've tried to open the door and talk to her, but she just disappears. And they said there's just like a sadness about her that she has given them some intelligent responses so they don't think it's residual energy because she has spoke like nodded her head, I believe, was what um, one of the stories was that maybe she had wanted, they asked if she wanted in the room and she nodded her head, but when they opened the door, she disappeared. So I don't think anybody's had a long conversation with her, but they have seen her and they all describe her the same way as really pale blue eyes and blonde hair. Um, I did not see her when we got here. But we're going to be looking and we're going to be listening and see if she might show up tonight. Maybe we'll hear her. We um, are going to walk around outside and look. And I'll take y'all outside just for a minute while we're waiting on Cliff to get back. Some of you may have heard of the Crescent Hotel. That's a sister hotel to this one. Uh, it's a sister hotel to this one. It's also located here in Eureka Springs. And it is said to be haunted.
<laughs> I was filming and I heard you and I was like, I didn't see anybody. Where did somebody come from? I was going to go. <coughs> um, Alright guys, let me help him and then I'll be back. Okay guys, got helped Cliff get in the room. And I walked outside on the balcony, right outside of our room, to look around. And this is the Basin Park, right next to the Basin Park Hotel where we're staying. Um, they've already got it decorated for Christmas. I wanted y'all to see the lights. I thought it was pretty from up here. It's a stage over there. And then that's the town of Eureka Springs. This is the side of the hotel and it goes up. It's windy and rainy out here. You can probably hear the rain falling. Over there it says Basin Spring Bath House. There's a lot of historical buildings in this town. A lot of things that happened here because of these springs. This is definitely a unique place to stay. We're going to walk back in and look around inside here for a minute. And then we're going to do a little bit of investigation into our room. out the rest of the hotel now that Cliff's with me and I do have my handy dandy brand new oh Ooh. it went off EMF meter it, went off. it flashed once uh -oh. it flashed when I cut it on and then it went off again I got a new one guys my other one broke so we're gonna film with this one too and see if we catch anything to watch the video we did at the, oh, the ones are so they are I don't know if y'all have seen the video that we did at the Haunted Hospital but I explained that my spirit box, spirit box is messed up and I didn't have a chance to replace it so I can't breathe I'm sorry I've been sick I think I said that on my other video too but anyway, so I won't have my spirit box, but I do have my lights, and I do have the rim pods set up in the room. And I have my EMF in meter, so we'll see. Can't breathe. <laughs> Get you to run up and down them stairs? I guess so. That was weird. There's a creeper in the... Oh. Creeper in the mirror. <laughs> I don't remember where that room... It's up another level. Oh, okay. It's up another level. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought you... Were... So these are just more hotel rooms. Yeah, it's farther up. Okay. I was just looking at the... Look at the old pictures. The elevator. It's hard with the floor creaking so bad. Hey, 
after you, Disc my lady. Creek. Let's go to the sixth floor. Do you remember the story of the barefoot ballroom? Mm -mm. I remember something. I know this is where all the partying went on. This is the barn billiards. Barefoot dancing, yeah. All the women are barefoot. Everybody's barefoot. Yeah. <laughs> I guess they had a rack that you put your shoes on and they're trying to find out whose shoes is whose now. <laughs> I guess. was talking in here. Hmm. All Maybe the partying. All Maybe the partying not. that went on. Did you hear that? It sounded like an exhale. What was that? I don't know, it sounded I like, I don't know, it sounded like, something. it sounded like somebody exhaled, like a, whew. Look at the curtains move up high, I assume that's from the dead. <coughs> yeah, they're, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's got to be from the air vents. If there's anybody in here, can you come over and touch this meter? It's 
meter. They're dancing. They don't want to touch your meter. <laughs> they want to dance. Now, if you'll dance with them, I bet you'll. Go see. ahead. I'll let you dance. I think you should dance with them. <laughs> Which story? Yes, I've already told them about that. I just didn't show them the picture yet. I probably will by the time they see this part on the video. But yeah, I've told them they all see the this part on the video. But yeah, I've told them all the stories. I don't know where those doors go. Because <laughs> it backs up to the mountain, yeah. Yeah. That's hmm. a trip. That is a trip. I thought I just heard somebody else say something. Oh, that's a drop down there, though. That wouldn't be cool. No. You heard another? I thought I heard a female. Uh, not unless they're hanging by a ledge. That's weird. Let's see, there's stairs back there, but there's no one back there. Sound like banging, didn't it? Uh huh. Let's go over to the pool room. To the what? Pool room, the billiards, um, the game room. That, you can't go in if you got your concealed pet weapon on you. And no, I left it in the room. It's 21 and up. I don't think I can film in there. So guys. I don't think there's anyone in there. Probably somebody working. All right, guys, so Cliff went in the bar. And all right, guys, so Cliff went in the bar. And I'm standing out here. I'm going to sit the EMF meter right here. And we're going to see. It may go off for us. If there's anybody in here with me, will you please come over and touch this meter so we can watch it light up? Just to prove that you're here. Just to prove that you're here. Just so we'll know you're here. Okay guys, I came back into the ballroom part and um, got my meter. If there's anyone in here with us, can you please come over and touch this black toy that I have in my hand? It will light up and basically let us know that you're here with us.
set you out here walking. And that's not Cliff, guys. He's over in the room over there sitting down. And I'm standing perfectly still. Can you tell me your name? Okay, well, we'll go get Cliff and we'll move on to the next area. Okay, guys, when we came back in the room, I didn't have the camera on, but this REM pod was going off. It kept flashing, and I came over here to grab my camera and it quit. But I had that one set up. Y'all ignore Cliff, he's mm. picking out. <laughs> He's a hungry man. I won't feed him. And I have this one set up here. And I think what we're going to do is see about cutting these lights off. That's that fan. I got to find out where all the light switches are. There's those, and then that? my green light, I hit the button. Oh. <laughs> Let's see about these. Okay, I want to turn. Do you need my light out? Uh, no, you can leave it on so you can see to eat. Okay, if there's anybody in here with us, I've turned on these green lights so that you can walk through them to let us know of your presence. All you have to do is walk in between the camera and the lights on the wall. And we should be able to see you in a shadow form. You can use your energy and manipulate the lights. See if you can move them. Move them. Maybe walk up to the wall and touch one. It looks like the curtain's moving. I can't tell if it's the curtain. It is the curtain, but I don't know if that's the fan.
trash. But I can't rule it out either, guys. That could be from the ceiling fan. Is that somebody with us? Is that a car? Sounds like something whining. Who's with this? This. Your footsteps. Can you say your name? My name's Stacy. This is Cliff. We don't mean any disrespect. Sorry. We're just here to find out who from the afterlife is here with us. Can you tell me your name? the balcony. Hmm. The log knob. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of confusing, guys, because it's got the doorknob here, right here, but this is actually what locks the door. <laughs> that curtain's not. Oh, my camera is blurry. Why would it be blurry? It's been at the same temperature. Sometimes it's a sign that a spirit's in front of it. Uh, like the camera's trying to lock in on the spirit instead of what's behind it. And it's not, it's not straightening out. Usually it'll straighten back out. Is there someone standing there? Dang, it's still blurry. Wow, guys, look at that. When my hand comes up close, it gets clear, but it will not focus on those lights. Was it focused earlier? Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah, it's... Okay, it's clear over there. Now it's clear. Stacy. Mm hmm. That door just eased open. It was closed, wasn't it? Yeah. It didn't make any 
squeaking, nothing. It just... No, I didn't hear anything at all. Because I was watching you and it caught it out of the corner of my eye. Oh, wow. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for letting your presence be known. Yeah, it don't just move. It is quiet. No. No. Yeah, but it don't just open. Like it's not off kilter where it's opening by itself. I wow. Know you have to look and see cause yeah, maybe, I'll go back and check the footage, but I'm pretty maybe, sure that was closed. I could have swore I just saw, I caught movement out of the corner of my eye, and when I looked, the door was open. Hmm. Can you open the door again? It might have been open. I don't know. Maybe I saw it. I don't know. I, I'm almost positive you had closed it earlier. Yeah, but I know you was turning the lights out. I didn't know if you opened it then. Mm-mm. I just turned off the two lights over the... I just saw some shadow move in the mirror off of this wall. Are you serious? Yep, it caught my eye when I was looking at those lights. I wish I had my spirit box to talk to you, but unfortunately I don't. Can you at least speak to us and hopefully my camera can pick it up? came on or the heater. <laughs> well, that was awful. Quick. Oh, when it's done going off? Yeah, it clicked on and clicked off. That's... That is weird. kind of strange. Yeah, it should have. Hmm. It clicked on and turned off that quick. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we're not going to bother you anymore for right now, but we appreciate that was you that opened the door. We appreciate you doing that. Thank you for doing that with the heater, if that was you. Hopefully I will be... Do you hear that clicking? Hopefully, um, when I go back and listen to this, I can hear you through my camera. Alright guys, well we made it through the night. I did not film us sleeping because my battery camera battery was already dead and we had to charge it. So, but honestly nothing happened. Didn't wake up, slept all the way through. So I don't think anything happened while we were asleep. Um, Cliff said he didn't notice anything. So we kind of got packed up and we're ready to head out. See what else we can get into maybe take a look around the town and just see what all Eureka Springs is about but I hope you enjoyed this video and um, thank you for being here if you liked it please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please do so 
do all that YouTube stuff, guys. All right, till next road trip. Love you. Bye.